Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. The show is called TBR SF, the show, which simply means TBR Solutions Sports Forum. It is myself, the sober boys, Wale Fasi, and the man with the educated left foot. That's Bra. Uh, Bra I wonder, I haven't spoken to him for a while. Man. I must give him a shout. Man. And then uh, I'm with from Shaga. Shaga, how are you, my brother? Hey, I'm good, um, Sobri. Thanks for having me on your show today. Mm. Um, yes, in the, not long I was talking about this Africa Cup League. Uh, I think that was last week, but uh, I'll still have to look, talk about it at some point and find out what happened. But I must say, thanks. Um, uh, finally, it was agreed that the sundowns continue. Uh, but we, we will find out. We'll get more information. What is happening? Why it was like that, and so on. But we are happy that they are back in the in the in the fold. And then uh, the tournament has started. Mshege, let's start here uh, before we discuss the issue of today. The issue of today, mm -hmm. we want to discuss the a tackle that uh, Bernard Parker suffered. Uh, in the hands of Bongani Zungu. So I want us to talk at that and find out whether was it deliberate or it was just a mistake. A former player yourself, you have been injured yourself. Maybe you can understand better. Give us a perspective. I want Saddam to join us because I could see he was very emotional. And then I don't know, it was a friendship coming uh, at hand because he's a friend to Parker or he was trying to balance things. I don't know. But let's wait for him. He's currently in somewhere in Pretoria where there is a fan park for Ama Pogo Pogo. Remember Ama Pogo Pogo playing? And then uh, they will be there on the fan park. So he's organizing that. So he's trying to uh, log in. So we'll see whether he'll be able to log in. Mshege, give me the results of the, the tournament as they started. And also remember the, the calling. Black Label has already started. We'll also talk about that one quick and then move on. Give me the results. Uh, so we had one game uh, yesterday, the, the, the kickoff to the tournament. Uh, it was uh, uh, Simba of Tanzania uh, versus al Ahli uh, of Egypt. And uh, the final score in that game was a 2-2 draw. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, spoils were shared in that game. Uh, that is the first one. Today we will see uh, Inter Luanda taking on Mamelodi Sundowns, uh, which should be a very interesting game uh, 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 in this cup competition. Which remember, is a lot of money, Brasov. Remember the winner, sorry, Shakes, <clears throat> the winner here is going to take about 75 million, red, <clears throat> which is a huge, huge, huge money. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what's going to happen. I'm happy for Sundowns. Uh, we'll keep on supporting Sundowns. It's a South African team. We need to rally behind them. And I hope they win this inaugural tournament. That would be good. That would sound very good. Moreover, if you look at Dr. Patrice Motsepe, he's a South African. He's the president of CAF. That would be very nice if we win it. But let's see. We'll see how things unfold as time goes on. Now, let's go to the Carlin Black Label. Give me the results. Starting with uh, the first table results, um, uh, the second game, of course, uh, Sundowns bowed out of the uh, out of the Culling uh, Cup uh, on penalties uh, during the week against TS Galaxy, and uh, yesterday we saw Orlando Pirates um, topple uh, the Cape Town team, uh, FC Cape Town, IX, uh, and known as IX. Um, out, out yesterday to Orlando Pirates. So uh, congratulations to, to, to Orlando Pirates. They move on to the next stage. Uh, um, everything seems to be going right. Uh, 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 the, the, the recently crowned champions and they go on to, to win their first game in the next competition. So uh, congratulations to them. They are heavy people. They are heavy people. <laughs> <laughs> they are heavy people. Heavy people. Tabino yeah. will be making noise to us on, on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now I want you to talk about Mamluri Sundowns. What happened? 
if if you uh, having watched that game, what what's your take? What happened? What do you think? What what went wrong? Uh, Prasopi, to be honest, I don't think anything went wrong. Um, it, 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 it's, it's always uh, going to be difficult when you are juggling the teams, you know, because seven of uh, our players were in national duty. Uh, so we had to uh, play other guys in the team, you know. That's why we have the depth that we have in the team. But uh, it's obviously not going to be easy all the time when you are changing the team. But I really thought the guys adjusted well and they played well. We, we, we just got two goals scored against us in the early stages of the game and we, we had to recover from that, which we did. But unfortunately, uh, going into penalties, is, it's a lottery. Anything can happen on penalties. And um, I'm not sure if we... we we are practicing them well, uh, what the problem is, but uh, uh, most recent results in penalties have, ne have not favoured us. Mm -hmm. But um, it's, 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 it's part of the game, Prasobri. Mm -hmm. uh, penalties are a lottery, and, and uh, I hear people talking about uh, mm -hmm. Onyang, why is he taking the first penalty? Why did Zungu take the first penalty in mm -hmm. the MTN8? But mm -hmm. I can tell you now, the reason why they take the first penalties is because they score them at training when when they are practicing them. So they are the most confident to take them. So it, it just happens that on the day of the game, uh, the dice didn't roll in their direction and mm -hmm. and they didn't uh, convert those chances. So, um, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. nothing wrong. Prasobri Sundowns mm -hmm. has a lot to focus on. Mm -hmm. uh, as you said, this uh, cup competition uh, uh, is very lucrative that they are playing now mm -hmm. and they need to focus on that mm -hmm. the Champions mm -hmm. League as well. Mm -hmm. So it was always going to be difficult to juggle mm -hmm. all these tournaments together. Mm. And uh, I think in now uh, for Sundowns is just to move on to the next one and 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 focus on on doing well in the in the African Cup. But you see, me Sundowns was dominating the game. Uh, they did well. Um, if, if 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 you know it was a boxing, it was on point system. As you are pitching punches, Sundowns would have won. But unfortunately, it's not boxing. You must win with goals. Uh, I like Rulani, he talks very well, but this time I said thumbs down, uh, Rulani. Uh, but what I like about Rulani, when people point out mistakes, he learns from them. And then I always preach this, that people in the media uh, should not be sweetheart. We should reflect what we see. Remember, we may also be wrong. And then whoever is an actor like players coaches and so on they must just learn out of that they mustn't take it personal all right i didn't like the way rulani spoke because for me it was like he was making an excuses i didn't have this player and all that everybody's experiencing the same situation so you don't have to uh, defend yourself that way you don't complain about injuries people lose because of injuries uh, but I didn't like what he said. But you know what? Maybe it was the spell of the moment. And then uh, sometimes, you know, when emotions, they take over. And then they also cloud uh, clarity. Because I like the way he speaks. But this time, uh, I wasn't impressed at all. So I hope you will take it uh, with a good spirit and start to improve. This is how we improve as people. We get better people if we do it that way. And then I must say, Orlando Pirates, I must congratulate them. I watched them, they were playing a very good football. Pirates, they are really on song. Remember, Pirates is the first thing that stopped Mamelo Di Sandals when Mamelo Di Sandals was unstoppable. And then Pirates are showing the signs that really, 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 they're a good team. Somebody once said to me in my cycle, in our cycle, that um, Pirates have a very good scout in uh, Skrima Chabalala. And uh, I tend to agree because the players that they buy, Sometimes they add value. And then uh, I was also happy to see Tim because he lodged back. And uh, you could not see that uh, the boy had problems in, with injuries and also on. He was he fitted like uh, a glove, uh, like uh, a hand in the glove. So uh, for me, uh, Paris did well. Now, let's move on, Mshege. Uh, remember that um, um, the squads, they're in a group. Um, I don't know. Um, this is the group that the squad they're in. They'll be playing 
Tunisia and Mali and Namibia. I hope that you can see that one, Mshege. Uh, what's your take about this group? Who's really yeah, possibly uh, it's, it's not going to be easy. Tunisia uh, are a big team in Africa, uh, Mali as well. Uh, uh, Namibia as well are no longer uh, minnows. There's no longer minnows when it comes to uh, in Africa, you know. Mm. So uh, for for Bafana Bafana, it's for them to prepare mm. well uh, uh, for this competition. And 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 yeah, they showed that uh, they they are capable of playing good football. Bafana Bafana, you know, mm. uh, should have won against Ivory Coast uh, when you look at the chances they created as well mm. and the way they played. So yeah, um, they can take a lot of hearts from that mm -hmm. and bring it into into this uh, um, competition, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, they will believe that they can qualify in in that group. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the groups. Be... Sorry, Mshaga, these are the groups, the final group. I don't know which one do you think is the strongest group, which is going to be one of the toughest. If you look there, um, I see Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah, oh, that one is, looks like a very strong one. Cote d'Ivoire, Nigeria, Ecuador, Guinea, and Guinea-Bissau. Uh, I don't know. Which one do you think is the strongest group? Is that one the strongest group? Yeah, definitely. Uh, group A has uh, got the giants there. Your, your Ivory Coast, your Nigeria mm. is there. Mm. Your Equatorial Guinea is there. Very strong now uh, probably these countries mm. uh, Guinea Bissau mm. then it's mm. never a walk over you know mm. in mm. Africa it's never easy mm. to predict the results also when you look at group mm. B you've got mm. Egypt you've got Ghana mm. Uh, mm. Um, uh, group C is, as well is top you've got big names there Senegal who I see as one of the favorite when it comes to this competition you know um, uh, together with your, 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 your Morocco um and so this oh, it's tough all all over Prasobri when I look at uh, these fixtures this these groups you know also group F Morocco Zambia Tanzania it's there's, there's no walkovers there's no walkover ne? it's gonna be very it's gonna be very very tough we'll see what's gonna happen Mshege, a, a quick one I want us to move on we saw what happened with Bennett Parker uh, Bongani Zungu. And then, I don't know, you are a former player, you'll tell me what's your take. And then, uh, yeah, I want us to talk about that one. Saram is telling me that he's trying to log in, but he's struggling. I'm trying to assist him uh, to see where I can come in. Um, what's your take? Look at this. Look, look, looks very ugly, very terrible. It's like the leg has broken. Yeah. I don't know. Look at it, Mshaga. Yeah, I see it, Prasobri. <laughs> it's something I. It's not something I want to see. Uh, um, mm, you as time, a former, you know, it's not, it's not as a former, it's not good to look at. Mm, mm, you as a former player, you know what? It brings those memories, and I'm sure you suffered those things before, Mshenga. Yeah, I suffered a lot of injuries, Prasobri, but uh, never a broken ankle. You know, I think. Uh, uh, once you break something, it's it's it's, it's really serious, and mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know, I just I pray for Bernard Parker that he, he recovers mm -hmm. uh, uh, from mm -hmm. from this. You know, also looking at his age and uh, the fact that he is almost coming to the end of his career. I mean, to have an injury like this mm -hmm. uh, can take a long time to recover, but. Uh, Knowing him and the professional that he is, I know he can bounce back and he will bounce back, you know, because he's a very disciplined individual as well. Mm. It also mm. has to do with how you look after yourself, you know, off mm. the field, how mm. quick you recover. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, I, 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 I wish him a speedy recovery, you know, and uh, yeah, I wish him well. I wish you know, him well. The lesson here, the lesson here, I saw, you know, I must say congratulations to Sanam. I wanted him to be uh, part of this uh, discussion. I, I saw people rallying around Parker, one. Secondly, I saw Parker not showing vengeance, anger, all right? And then he was clapping his hand as he was going out. 
uh, Saddam sent me a, a voice note where he was communicating with Saddam, you know, thanking Saddam, uh, the role that he played, not only Saddam and the supporters and teammates and all that and, and, and football okay. community. For me, he didn't look like he was very angry, all right? And then Tim Siwazi too, the owner of the team, the support that they give him. As you can see here, these are the players from TS Galaxy supporting him. All right. So for me, Asobi, this looks like this looks like Marco from Pirates when he had that head injury. Oh, this one is that one of Marco. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I got it from Saddam. I don't know why. Why I got this? Is this Marco or, or Saddam is here? Saddam. Now, the, this picture that Hello. we are looking at, one ball. Anguja. Yeah, Gauja. Olafita Jualing Happy, that's what I am. Wow. Saram. Ah, no, Saram Olafita Jualing. I don't know whether it's Marco or, but I see the TS Galaxy players here. So yeah, Hello. yeah, yeah. Saram, how uh, are you? Yeah, Kawang. I'm going to so only be usually in Guana. I'm going to try to sell some wood. Who guy? One of the top of the room. All right, yeah, my, yeah, my, because I saw one. I know. I'm so some of you want this. I have now you have less connection now. You lose the connection. Can I hear you? Uh, oh, it's, no, it's tough. Um, yeah, but now let's let's talk about this uh, uh, chase. From the look of things, yeah. was Zungu intentional in doing what he did? One. Um, secondly, the way he reacted. You know, they were trying to talk to him. He could not be controlled. They tried to escort him to the dressing room. He could not even went straight to the dressing room. He had to sit uh, on the steps there, reminiscing uh, what happened. So what's your take? How did you read the situation? Was the intentional one? Was the reaction of Zungu appropriate, according to you? Uh, Saddam, can I hear you? Yes, I can see you. Yeah, now I can hear. Let me start with Saddam because we didn't have much. As Saddam, this picture, let's start here. Is this picture of Marco or Bennett Park? Sorry? This picture. Can you see this picture? Yeah. Is this Bennett Parker or Mark Marco? No, get yeah, Bennett Park. Oh, is that? Is that? So we're not yes, sure about that. Okay. Mm. I got I got it from, from him. That is why I need to verify. Saddam. Okay. Uh, we had already started. We are about to finish. Uh, as I said, Mshege is rushing somewhere. I'm also having other activities. You are also busy with the fan park. I'll give you the opportunity to talk about that so that people know where you are and why you are there. Now, um, if you look at that tackle. Was that tackle intentional? One. Two, uh, the reaction of Zungu after having done that tackle. All right. Three, I was impressed with Parker. Parker didn't see as somebody who's angry. All right. I think Parker showed the signs that he understands that's football. And then he was encouraging the players to go on and fight for the win. And fortunate enough, they won. But I also saw Tim Sugazi showing anger, saying Zunga had not apologized, including Mamelodi Sanders. In fact, he was expressing his disappointment. So now I saw you trending on social media, saying this must be punished with the highest, harshest punishment. I want you to comment on all what I've said before Sheikh comes in. Yeah, uh, first I'd like to apologize to you and the listeners there, whatever our viewers. 
because I'm busy uh, uh, arranging something for tonight. You know we're going to watch rugby at the Mall of Abu. So I'm arranging supporters. They're moving in. I'm going to check them in. The minister is gone. He's in there already. So now I just want to say in the issue of uh, park why, and... Why is, is a, why is Abisa minister getting more good? <laughs> Should have done yeah, that. I mean, yeah, Minister, I'm going to go to the room connect. I'm going to pick up my one, but my Camille. Next week, I'm going to go there, join them on the next week. Today, Minister, give me a structure to make a fan park and connect people. So that's why I'm here. Then we go all over the room. More organ, more organized rebellion, na mo na. More organized. Yeah, the final. Yes, in the final. The Marilyn next week is thing. We will organize him on the final. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Now, horrible work. I'm talking about that. What's your take? Yeah, I think it's a hating one. Just because somebody got an injury, it's bad for someone to get a, a lost his career on that. But uh, I want to answer your question. Uh, I don't know when the international internet or what. But to me, I want to go to the second question. Second question is a. Uh, Reaction here, yeah, yeah, Zungu was very unprofessional. After that accident, he had to act like that. And then uh, he was trying to protect his uh, red card amongst the rebels, mm -hmm. but he didn't care about what is happening on the floor. First, when you get the accident, we know even Premier League day, when you get the accident, you take the people that you contact with them with the accident, whatever, mm -hmm. then is where you're going to start to say reaction. But he didn't care. He just was worried. Going around moving, anger was there, mm. frustration was there, but he moved away, pushed everybody, even when he go to the dressing room, he was hitting everybody, hitting the wall. But that behavior, especially like someone who was playing overseas, is mm. supposed to lead by example. He mm. caused their own goal, he caused an injury, he caused a uh, sundown. So to me, Zungu must get a punishment. Zungu's behavior was not good. Let's forget about the accident. The behavior was not good with us. Why I'm saying that on the social media? Mm -hmm. I challenge uh, PSL to tell us as support, not because of Parker. Let's put Parker aside. Mm -hmm. I mentioned the name of uh, Jimmy Jambo, Dylan Shepard, all the names I mentioned, Bumulongwana, mm -hmm. I mentioned the APJ Lurie. Mm -hmm. What was happening after they get accident? Any mm -hmm. reaction? Give me a fine new one. Yeah, it will, uh, D, uh, PSL DC, in a structure, so you know, so they are really injured. Mm -hmm. uh, Parker is going to get a, a message from PSL, whatever. I'm mm -hmm. talking about in general. What is going to be happening? To all limiting Odu Lamola, he's going to stay there maybe five weeks or two weeks or two months. What is going to happen? And then the, the, the team is going to be involved for, for their players' manners to, to pay or to whatever. Now, the, the apology was done yesterday from, from Sundown and from Zoom. It's too late. For me, I'm still saying to you, I'm going to take that feather. I want to know until you go to Sapa as well. What mm. is, I'm not talking uh, because of Parker, because of the case that I'm talking about the previous one, because this thing is happening and happening. Nothing happened. We support us as a president of supporters. We want to know what is the action, what, what we're going to take about those players who get this one. Because many players, they lose their career because of this mm. kind of thing. Let's mm. forget about who in the Gamma Boom or the mm. accident, what, but we mm. want to know mm. what happened in the field of play. But mm. the behavior of Zungu was not good for the players like him to do that. He's supposed to act as a player. Mm. Oh. Like we said, like the previous one, Kiele Amukwe Nakonyo Barkima Kosale, isn't it? Are you referring to that one? Yeah, and uh, all also, of them. Also, also from, Lene, uh, Bo, 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 right. Zwani, also, all of them. also, also from sundowns, isn't it? Fine. Yeah. Uh, I was yeah. in the way of a sundown since it's a statement. So, what is the statement? Is almost a statement. No, sundown didn't make a statement. Kiki, statement is from all, uh, uh, the, the message was come from the coach, but. Uh, Reality for statement, we didn't hear. I didn't know. I don't know. All Maybe right. Come, but Zungu, All right. All right. Zungu made an a, 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 a apology yesterday. Zungu made an apology, and All Danny right. Parker accepted the apology. 
Yeah, Zoom has made an apology. Now, Eric Fesh yes. is a former player. Uh, yeah. I responded to all what you are saying. Because what you are saying yes. are the allegations and all that. And you are right. Remember, we all have opinions, all right? And then uh, we are sure. Uh, I don't know. I know you guys use on the sandals. Yeah. Tell me, what's your take? How do you respond to what he say about Zungu, all this incident? That this is a deserve to be a punish heavily. Uh, like he says, uh, he wants staff also to take a serious section. What's your respond? Mshake? Yeah, Prasobre, like I said, you know, football, it's a difficult one, you know, when you're on that field uh, and, and you are going 50-50, you, you, you're going 50-50 on the field, you know, and and, and when it, it, it shows you on, on slow motion, it's a different story when people watch it to when it happens Ooh. in the game, you know, so it looks very bad when, when, when it happened. But I can tell you now that there was not, it was not his intention. It was not his intention to break anybody's leg. There's no professional player that goes on the field and wants to harm another player. It was just a, a freak accident, you know, and, um, and uh, it happens in football. So now every time when somebody makes a mistake and, and, and the end result is someone's broken leg. You can't say you're going to punish all those players. Mm. You can't say you're going to punish the person that broke mm. Dylan Shepard's yeah. leg. Mm. You know, you can't say now we're gonna go back and say we 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 we, we punish who's that boy that broke David Beckham's hand from Cosmos. Mm. You can't say you, you because freak accidents do happen in football. Mm. You know. Uh, 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 and and I'm very sure that it was unintentional. Yeah. As now to let's... the reaction, as to the yeah. reaction yes. of Zungu, mm. um, I can I, I can say, yeah, maybe he didn't react the way he should have, but it's mm. it's in the spare of the moment, it's in mm. the heat of the game, mm. and he hasn't had a look at that incident that mm. happened. Mm. So uh, hence his reaction, he felt maybe that he was not in the wrong. And he didn't deserve a red card. And you mm. can understand that Zungu is coming uh, 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 from a game where he missed the penalty against Pirates. And uh, it, it cost the team the MTN 8 final. And here's another the cup, cup game. Now it comes and he gets a red card again. So you can understand what is going on in the player's mind. You mm. know, and he is obviously... Mm. 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 Sorry, Mshaga, it's like uh, his game time and uh, and he hasn't been doing well. So all those things they they add up, you know, to how he reacted as well. Because he can see that now he's got a red card again. He's out. The other time he was out when he got an elbow on his face as well. And he, he got injured in, 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 in that incident. So these things do happen in football. And, and when the emotions uh, uh, are still there, we, we don't always react in the right way, you know. But as we know that he has come out and he has apologized now to, to, to Bernard Parker for that incident. And then Parker accepted it. As you said, you put it correctly. And then like Saddam put it correctly that he also caused a goal, an own goal. One, as you said, he missed the penalty in the game against Pirates. So those things, they play into your mind, all right? And then uh, now, remember, having cost a goal, Saddam, it could have been he wanted to make sure that the team should win, all right? Now, he realized that now if they take him out, he was not going to have that opportunity to, 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 to redeem his image and redeem the image of the team. So Saddam, does this make sense? What we are saying? No, to me, uh, to me, it doesn't doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Accident and foul is not the same. Mm -hmm. When you make a foul, it's a foul. Mm -hmm. Anything can. That's why we have a yellow card, red mm -hmm. warning, and red card. Why are still there, the yellow... Saddam? Why are still there? So that we move on, because I want you to speak about Mapoko Pog. Okay. Saddam has mentioned something very important. That uh, this was the second incident. The first incident was Mukwena on Saleh. Now, the common denominator here is Mamlodi Sandal. How do you react on that one? 
And uh, the, 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 one, the, one, the, one, the one of the one of the one of the one of it was similar to the one of Zungu, if you remember quite well. Yeah, Prasobu, yeah. <laughs> Sundowns is not a, a team that that that, that uh, plays rough. We all know no, that. No, no, I'm team. not saying Sundowns is playing a rough team. I'm saying Sad Saddam. Saddam, will you correct me if I'm wrong? He was quoting it to say, this is the second time. And I said, that one of Mukwena uh, versus Saleng, you see. So I'm saying, how do you respond to that? Get me. I'm not saying Sundowns is playing a rough team. I want to get views from you guys. What's your take? Yeah, possibly. what I'm saying is that those incidents happen in football. It's not only Sundowns who, who commit those fouls. I mm -hmm. mean, there are fouls that I've seen against Sabo Temba Zwane as well mm -hmm. and, and, and other players, you know. But uh, uh, I think people are, are loving to see things that are wrong that are happening to Sundowns at the moment. And, um, and like you said, at some point, the same zoom was hitting with an elbow. The same zoom was also elbowed, but we don't we don't talk about those incidents. Mm. But anyway, all I'm saying is that it, it, it it's football incidents like that do happen, Brasobri, and you you can't uh, now want to have a campaign to 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 ban Zungu or something because of that incident, you know, because we'll we can go far back and we'll see that there are similar incidents that have happened and if you're a football person, you understand that uh, 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 things like that happen in football and uh, there's no intention to to break anybody's leg. It's just how it looks on the final picture. When you look, it looks very bad, but the intention is, is, is not that. And sometimes things like that, you need to be a player to understand. Saddam, uh, I'm sure you have heard yeah. the argument. Yeah. yeah, then I'm going to yeah. give you a chance yeah. to come in. Don't worry. I'm going to give you a chance. I just want you to follow the chain of thoughts. As Shay says, those incidents do happen. Sundowns players also, they were victims in some of the things. He even mentioned the same Zungu, who sometimes uh, was elbowed. Now, most importantly, you yourself have just said, Zungu apologized, issued a statement. Paka accepted it. Now I want to get your point. What's your take, Saddam? Uh, I don't know, maybe it's, it's disturbed by game. Remember, he's still organizing that fan park. I hear your point, Mshege, uh, because sometimes, remember when these things happen, as you said, they're happening in the spare more in the you know in the midst of things. Saddam, yeah, what do you say to what you have said? Yeah, let me get in. Mm. Uh, I think now it go like one in one, like I'm defending Parker, like. Uh, uh, Shakes is defending Sundown. No, let's, let's leave Parker and Zungu and talk about the injury. Yeah, your sound has gone down. I don't know what happened, uh, Saram. Your sound is low. Can you hear me now? Yeah, speak louder. Let, let those people not disturb you. Speak, speak, speak a little bit louder. All right. Um, I can understand he's very busy. So, you know, they're still disturbing him. Yeah, speak louder. I can uh, so that I can hear you. Yeah. Yes, can you hear me now? Yeah, can I hear you, me? but very low, but speak. All right. Yeah. What I'm saying is, let's not go one in one like I'm defending Parker because your chief is defending Sundown. No, let's talk about reality, about the mm. uh, But right, but right, fortunately, uh, Zungu made a useless behavior, what I can say now. Behavior was not good. But now, because he make a, a, a apology, we leave it. Let's talk about something. I want to ask Shake. Shake, you know that as a player, uh, legend, you know that PSL, they put the rules how to deal with the injury for player. You know about that one, number one. Number two, when the accident goes like that, media or anybody, they don't deal with the PSL now. They deal with the team. That's why Team Sugar, they come to talk about condition, how it's been happening, what was it. It's only Team Sugar they can talk, the team can talk about how the players and that's why I send you a message. Why? How is the player? Uh, is going to operation? Uh, how long is going to take? What happened? And the media can deal with the uh, uh, team. We as supporters, we supposed to communicate with the team. How is the player? How is the because I can't call Parker. I call Parker's agent. I call Parker's uh, 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 director. And then they told me it's covering the operation. What? 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 Everything I know about it. 
But the main issue, let's talk about, Sheikh must tell us what is happening when players get injured. Because I know, I want Sheikh to tell the people what the PSL rules say when you get injured. Banaliona is a, is a, 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 a but PSL DC, they got the rules, how they deal with the players' accident. Bamu Monitara, they know what to do. He knows, he must tell us. Let's leave about uh, uh, Parker and Zoom and talk about uh, uh, what happened with the players when they get injury. What is happening? Now, let me ask Sheikh to respond to that. But I think I also yeah. have a response to that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Prasobri, I'll, I'll give you one typical example of, of, of one famous uh, 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 leg break, the one of Dylan Shepard. Uh, when Dylan Shepard broke his leg, I was on the field on that game. We were playing against the uh, Free State Stars. And we happened to do rehabilitation at the same time in Cape Town with Dylan. The, the team, Sundowns, have their own medical doctors. They took us to, 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 to Cape Town for, for rehabilitation for Dylan Shepard as well. Free State Stars had nothing to do with that. It was an accident. It happens in football. There was no DC for, for, for the Free State Stars player because he apologized for the incident. Uh, he saw what happened. I'm sure no player feels good after doing something like that. But you can't take a player to the DC. He, 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 it's not like he punched somebody on the field. It was a freak accident that happens on the field. It's not like you're intentionally punching somebody on the field. Then I understand in that situation, we are deliberately doing something uh, which is wrong, you know. So I remember that uh, Dylan accepted the apology and uh, Sundowns took care of, of his medical expenses. It wasn't like Chris Stars needs to do that now because uh, uh, it's their player who who, who, who injured uh, Dylan Shepard. No, it doesn't work like that. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you for, so much for your input. Saddam, you know what, my brother? I'm not going to suppress... No, no, just hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on. Yeah, no, no, I'm going to give you a chance. Yeah, I'm going to give you a chance, okay? Can I go? Can I go? No, 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 I'm going to give you a chance. Just hold on. Just hold on. Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Can you hear me? All right, speak, because uh, I'm going to give you a chance. Just hold on. Can you hear me? All right, speak because uh, we, we struggle to each other. Comrade, yourself, when I comrade yourself. Yeah. And Sheikh, did yeah. you know about uh, Sheikh Kuman who broke his leg from Sandow? Do you know yeah. about that issue? Yeah. Uh, your, 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 your line is, is breaking, Saddam. Yeah, your line is. Your line is breaking. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, can I, like, I can hear you yeah. now. Do you know accident the Essex Kumani from Sandow? Yeah. Yes. He will yeah. Live, live, well. You know yeah. what I'm about that? Yeah. What happened? Yes. Bible when, yes. When you get the accident, the team, hmm. them, the, the both team, yeah. they must monitor and see how, how the players. Yeah. And I didn't say a player must go to the DC. No. Yeah. doesn't yeah. go to the DC until the referee. Uh, review the accident is where we can talk about this. I'm talking about the system yeah. and the, the rules and regulations from PSL. Yeah. What they say. What they say. What they say when no, they say, 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 say what you know. Say, say what you know. Let us not put shakes on the spot. Where now, what do you know? What do what the rules say? Sorry, I can't hear you. What, what are the rules saying? Let us not put shakes on the spot. Chase is not defending uh, Zungu. He's just putting his point of view as a former player. You are also putting your point of view as a supporter who watches the football. Remember, your opinion is correct. I mean, your opinion is... Uh, you are entitled to it, as much as Chase is entitled to his opinion. All right? So no one has a better opinion. We should allow you to express your opinion. So let us not put Chase on, on, on the spot. I'm saying you... What what does the rule say on that? Saram? I don't think he hears us. Sorry? Do you, do you hear me? What does no, the rule say? I want the rule. I want the rule. Yeah, the rule tell us. Tell us what the rule says. As a former player. Yeah. What does the rule say? He must tell us. All right. Let's do this, uh, uh, Saram. 
Um, I think it's a bit unfair if you put shapes on the spot to talk about the rules. And you know, let me tell you what I know about the rules. What I know, the rules in the field of prayer, the referee is in charge. And the referee do, did his work. He gave Zoom a red card. All right. So what else should be done beyond that? But let's cut it. I want you to talk about uh, Mapogo Pogo before we leave. You're in the fan park. Just tell people what's happening. And we'll talk about that one. If you want us to continue about that one, we'll continue, uh, maybe. But now let's talk about uh, the fan park and, and stuff like that. Because it's unfair to put shakes on the spot to talk about the rules. If you know the rules, bring out the rules. But I said the referee did what he was supposed to do. He gave a red card, which is what he's supposed to do. And it was a straight red card for that matter. Now, what, what, what are the arrangement today? Uh, the arrangement yesterday, we've been watching the first semi final Argentina versus uh, Newland. Newland win about a score 44, and then uh, Argentina 6, meaning Newland is going to finally on the 28th. Mm. So now we arrange the fan park with mm. Minister at uh, the Mall of Africa uh, from 6 o'clock, whatever. Everybody can come there for free. DSTV is going to be there to televise mm. everybody, all the, the uh, people who are around. Kauteni. Let's go to Mall mm. of Africa mm. and be together. Where I am now, while I'm talking to you, I'm at the hotel where I booked the room for those people who travel. Those super fans who are selected by me to come into have a meeting to mm. talk about the rugby and then to make sure that on the 28th, people we won. Mm. Maybe mm. we can talk to Minister join the other people there. What I'm saying is, yeah. come all at Mall of Africa, but the Runaro Yako Rasha achieved six at six o'clock, eight o'clock, the game is off, nine o'clock, we come to the hotel, we eat, we go back to the Mall of Africa. We'll, we'll check out on Sunday. In drink about the Let's right. support our, our national team because rugby, Bob I mean, uh, what do you call uh, uh, Springbok. Here, finally, in uh, uh, New Zealand. The All right. New Zealand, the Leonard, the team that yeah. Uh, Saddam, uh, I need to finish now. We play against, we yeah, I need to. I need to finish now. I need to. All right, yeah. Saddam. I need to finish now. Uh, I'm going to give you a minute, talk about Chiefs, who are they playing? A minute. Chiefs play Amazulu, kick off 6 o'clock, uh, uh, Black Label Cup, 6 o'clock, ticket available for 50 rand for uh, Chiefs Pro. They play now, today? Today, at 6 o'clock, FNB Stadium, play the Chiefs Amazulu, is a, is a game here, the Black Label. Transporter is available as well. All right. To All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We, we, we are running short of time now. Thank you. Congratulations. I see here yeah, you are supporting uh, Parker. Uh, you are selling his books. He has written a book. People can support Parker and buy Parker's book. And then, uh, well done, Saddam. You are a very good organizer. And I like when you say, those people were selected by you. Uthwe Ramad. That is really Uthwe Ramad. Now, before I go, no, let me just... Me. No, no, no. Before I go, let, because time is against me, I just want to remind people that we are a financial company, basically. As you can see there, TBR, Double SF Show, that's our show. Below there, it's our no, website. No, no. Just hold on, Saddam. Um... Um, below there, it's our website. If you want to know more about us, just visit our website. We are currently in a campaign of assisting those people who are in the government uh, space. We are working for the government, who are members of GPF, who wants to leave because they are somehow exhausted or whatever reasons that makes them to leave. But they are not yet 60 years old. They are 55 and above, and then they want to leave. Remember when they leave earlier, they'll be penalized. So now we can show them legally how can they avoid penalty. They will never be penalized, not even a cent. At the end of the show, you'll see our WhatsApp number. Just drop us a WhatsApp, then we'll call you. We'll call you for free and give you advice how to do it. Thank you very much. Saram, you wanted to say what in your closing remarks? Say, and then just be the viewers for Saram? 
Ah, yes, please. Mshake, thank you very much. I know how hectic you are. And then uh, good luck in whatever that you are doing. Thank you so much for uh, showing up uh, today. And then I see that Saddam has, um, he has, um, you know, the, he has cut off. So bid the viewers, the viewers farewell. Yeah, thank you so much for having me on the show. And uh, today is going to be an action packed Saturday, you know. Uh, good luck to the Proteas. Good luck to Ama Bogo Bogo. Good luck to, to, to the team Yama Chips. <laughs> good luck to Sundowns also in the African Cup. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he is coming. I think he still wants to have a bite. Let's, let's allow him. <laughs> Uh, Saddam, I uh, now can you say something? I don't see you. Maybe uh, just bid the viewers farewell. Saddam, Saddam. I know. Yeah, bid the viewers farewell. Hey, now you are loud and clear. You could have been where you are now. Um, yeah. So bid the viewers farewell. Yeah, I love to to say all the listeners, supporters, everybody. Please let's support my Bobo Bobo today because it's a big day for us. We are going to finally against uh, New Zealand on the 28th. All right, Saram, we got that one. Thank you so much. Thank you. Much appreciated. We'll speak again on Tuesday. On Tuesday. Thank you. Bye.